In this tutorial, I'll show you how to animate this model of a DNA molecule, how to animate it coiling up and uncoiling. To make the molecule coil up, a twist deform modifier is used, twisting the molecule through an angle of 540 degrees. The model is made from a mesh of vertices. Animation where the mesh is deformed is called vertex animation. blend for web provide a tool that will bake the keyframe animation to make a sequence of meshes so that the animation will run in a web browser. Here is the animation uploaded to the internet running in Google Chrome web browser. The animation will also run in Safari and Firefox web browsers without a plugin. The starting point for this tutorial is a file I made in a previous tutorial. You can download the file from my website or you can watch the previous tutorial and make the file yourself. Click the modifiers button there are two modifiers. In the subdivision surface modifier, set the level of subdivision to 1. We want a low polygon count model. The vertex animation doesn't work unless we apply the subdivision surface modifier. Click apply. The simple deform modifier is really four modifiers in one. There is twist, bend, taper and stretch. The twist option is used to make the DNA sequence into a coil. If I drag to reduce the deform angle, the molecule uncoils. If I set the angle to zero, we get the uncoiled DNA sequence. To set up the animation, I'm going to insert three keyframes. My rhyme for inserting keyframes is go to frame Make change, insert keyframe. To insert the first keyframe, go to frame, go to frame one. Make change, set the deform angle to zero, it's already zero. Insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe. To insert the second keyframe, go to frame 125. Make change, set the deform angle to 540. Insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe. To insert the third and final keyframe, go to frame, go to frame 250. Make change, set the deform angle back to zero. Insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe. Clicking play, the animation works in Blender. How do we get the animation to work in a web browser? Change Blender Render to Blend for Web. Click the Render button and click Set Recommended Options. When I click Fast Preview, content from the hidden layers is being rendered. So I'm going to delete the content. Click on one of the layers. I'm going to change shading back to solid. Select and press X to delete. Click on the next layer. Select and press X to delete. These are the base pairs, which are the building blocks of a DNA sequence. Click on the first layer, select and change the shading back to material. Click the object properties button. I will apply any scale. In the object menu, apply scale. Scroll down and click Export Vertex Animation and also tick Apply Default Animation. In the tool shelf, click on the Blend for Web tab. Drag to make the tool shelf wider. Open up the Bake Vertex Animation panel and click the plus to add a new vertex animation. 
The NLA editor is a good tool for mixing and reusing actions, but as I only have one action, I'm not going to use it. Click to uncheck. Click the bake button to bake the vertex animation. This takes some time. On my system, I get a message saying that Blender is not responding, and you may think that Blender has crashed. But on my system it hasn't. I get bake finished and a status of all 250 frames recorded. We can now click fast preview and the animation will be exported to a web browser. The animation will come from the 250 baked frames, not from the keyframes on the timeline. To show this, I'm going to change the timeline window to a dope sheet window, change the mode to action editor, and click the button to unlink the action from the DNA model, change the window back to a timeline, and click play. There is no animation in the 3D view, but if I click fast preview, the baked vertex animation is exported and run in a web browser. This is the Blender file that I've used to upload to the internet. I've added three extra lamps so that there are three lamps above the model and one lamp below. I've aligned the active camera with the front view and in the world settings, I've set the horizon color to black and I've clicked render sky. And I've made all the materials used in the model glossy by changing the specular shader toward ISO and setting the intensity to one. Now clicking fast preview. And we get a brighter, shinier model on a black background. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.